Warning, the following video contains memes, laughs, and scenes of a wholesome and base nature. Your discretion is advised. Rated W for Wilhelm. Hello everyone, I'm here from my Game Channel, welcome back to the adventures of Geyser Wilhelm, where today we're down in the Caucasus as the almighty Don Host, who of course we are going to have the Germans take control of once uh, Krasnov gets killed off, and then we'll be going down a Kaiserreich to call our own Das Russiaisreich, so the Russian Reich. I'm guessing that's what it translates to, because we get to uh, coronate the Kaiser. And that is of course what we want to do, so let's get cracking, shall we? Ah, perfect, the Berlin stock crisis has reached our glorious nation. It's not completely terrible, but it's not that great either. Actually, it's it's awful, we need to get rid of it. I should point out, we do actually have another couple of um, national spirits, we have Cossack State which gives us plus 20 attack and defense on core territory and a division limit of plus 5, we lose some stability and political power cost and we have the Cossack army which is giving us some nice bonuses to attack for cavalry, just even division attack, cavalry defense, division speed, division train times down although the army experience gains down and so is the recruitable population factor which is not ideal I have to say, I'm not a fan of that minus 15% they've, su they've succeeded, I'm going to just straight up declare war on them Okay, we have the anti-Krasnov coup. Krasnov's guards can defeat uh, Bogodevsky's rebels. That's not going to happen. The German garrison intervenes. That's not going to happen. Or uh, Krasnov is killed in the chaos. He is going to be killed off. And sadly, the German garrison now intervenes. And uh, puts themselves in power. Ah, the Atomer Strat Don Kokosian has joined the Reichspact, and we are walking to their capital. There we go, that was nicely done. Go ahead and annex them. So now we can actually start going down Von Panwitz's Pooch. German military mission, Cossack state gets removed. Initial stabilization, we'll definitely go for that first. Perfect, it looks like we're going to be fully recovered by October, because initial stabilization gets removed in, uh, well, in October, so that is going to be good for us. We're also beginning the Germanization of the nation, so Rostov is going to rename to Rostau. Oh, monthly population plus 25, recruitment population factor 10% of factor output plus 10. Very nice, we're not going to try and pronounce the word, but thanks for that. Austria's just casually declared war on the Italian Federation. I think the Italian Federation's probably going to lose and become a puppet of Austria now, thanks to that. Ah, Perfect, Helmuf von Panwitz is now our field marshal, and we have Wilhelm Ritter von Lieb as our general. Perfect, form the Rona. Russian Liberation Army. 1.5 recruit population, division attack, division limit plus 10, and Bronislav Kaminsky becomes a general, and we remove the Cossack army. Oh, oh well that's good, recruit population's going to go up. Philippe Patan has held onto power somehow, miraculously, and uh, Bologna, I think, has just decided to flip to, yep, totalist. Yep, you're going to die. I did call this as well. Would you look what's happened? Italy has died, basically. They're very close to dying. I think once Rome's gone, they'll be uh, down and out. Oh, yep, the Wallonian crisis. It's not a game of guys of redux without Alf Landon popping up for what essentially will be for like three months and then bugger off. Ah, perfectly. The cowardly government, the Guban People's Republic has agreed to join our country of bloodshed. That is what we want. The peaceful integration of these territories. Ah, the mountainous Republic of Northern Caucasus has rejected our ultimatum. Well, you have chosen death now. It's uh, turned into a wee bit of a mess down here, if I'm being honest. Surely this is going to be the end for them. Go on, take it. Ah, perfect. The Mountain Republic is now ours. They have both rejected? Well, I am afraid this cannot be allowed to stand. Nice, we've already secured Baku. Let's go to Ganja. 
We're not doing as well over here as I would have liked to have been, but that's fine. There goes Azerbaijan, get annexed. Oh, all these divisions down here are dead. Shame I didn't take this bloody tile before um, taking their capital down the south, because I think that would have been them dead. And there goes Georgia. Ah, oh, the crisis on the Danube. Hungary is already doing terrible. Poland started to push in though, and Italy hasn't actually died yet, so this could be their moment to shine. The comeback is on. You know I said the comeback's on for Italy. No, they just declare war on the uh, the socialist state, so yeah, they're they're dead. Nice, we're integrating Georgia and Azerbaijan into our glorious nation. And it looks like uh, the Savoy crisis has been resolved peacefully, is it? Oh, no, enemies on all sides. Okay, peace and reconciliation is not the right... They've not actually done that a lot recently. Well, I think uh, Mussolini got more land out of that than he was really entitled to get. The Austrians definitely deserve to take all of Italy there. Just currently trying to sort out supply issues that we're currently facing on along the front. Once that's sorted in here, we're going to war. Well, we're no longer with the Germans. We are now on our own to deal with the Russian menace. But they're not very well defending the borders right now, so hopefully we can get a good start on them. I have to say, so far so good. We've killed 78,000 of them already. They are kind of now coming up to the front, so... The encirclements are few and far between right now, but I think we still do have this. We have had to do a tactical retreat as such, um, mainly because they've started to aggressively push us like no tomorrow, so I couldn't have my forces be stretched thin, hence why we've uh, retreated to where we have. The Germans did say they, won't, uh, they wouldn't support us in the war, but it doesn't mean they won't support us by sending us guns. Well, here's all the other nations that are willing to help us. They're sending us a decent bit of guns. Transamur especially. That's 5,000 guns from them as well. No! Middle Africa! Oh, Turkestan coming in for the win. How many divisions you got? 13 to 44. Oh. Oh, Russia. This could be our time to pounce. Ah, perfect. We have started to encircle them again. Turkestan joining in has just... It's, it just came in clutch. What land? Do they actually have claims to some land? Oh, I am tempted to give it to them initially and then kill them. Depending on how much they actually do end up taking, that is. Oh, no, Rus Russia. I, th I think you're doomed, mate. Seven, eight divisions max. And you've got Transamur, Turkestan, and me all fighting you, and we do not have small armies. Oh, my days. There's just, there's just pockets of Russians everywhere. <laughs> We are struggling to push them over here because this is where a lot of their troops are, but I'm fine with my men just grinding against them, whilst uh, these guys just walk right to Petrograd. Uh, this could be a very big encirclement, potentially, on the cards here. Oh my days. We're done here. We're done. It is time to create a Kaiserreich to call our own. Oh crap, I, I didn't realise we had economic collapse, administrative strain, and Russian resistance. Oh! All absolutely wonderful things. Mwah. Oh, is it the glorious? Look at that flag. Mm. Love it. I love it all. Ah, uh, yes, we're moving our capital to Petrograd. Long live Russia. One and indivisible. Oh, wow, we made it back into the Reichsbacht in time to head to the Halifax conference to watch it just end in disaster, like it always does. Oh, and well done, Portugal. You managed to complete the, uh, whatever the, uh, thing is that, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's not, it's, it's actually called something. I can't remember what it's called, but it was their plan to like connect Mozambique and uh, Angola together. Uh, excuse me, what the hell? The French national state has renounced its claims to Alsace-Lorraine. The French the French national state has agreed to join Metal Europa once Paris has been regained, and the British have renounced their claim to Northern Ireland. I didn't realize this was a thing. The Germans acted on behalf of the Irish. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, see if this fails now. It's going to be so, so anticlimactic. What, what the hell is going on? German colonies recognized. What the f- No way. No freaking way. Has, how, how has that actually worked? Oh, I don't believe it, but I, 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 it's nice to see it happening for once. Oh my God, Huey. Huey's, Huey's giving everybody the dong. On you go, son. Oh my days. Finally, crowning a new dynasty. I'm going to read this actually. With the defeat of the Russian hordes, it is 
it had come time. Well, Helm had come to add another title to his long list of titles. The ceremony itself was the most opulent, with many from the Lutheran Church, Lutheran Church, Orthodox Church, German nobles, and even Russian nobles. There to crown Wilhelm with a Russian crown was a Lutheran priest as he arrived at where he was to be made Tsar of Russia and beginning the Hohenzollern lines of Tsars for the Russian Empire. Before the priest could crown Wilhelm, he took the crown and anointed himself, leaving no contestment for whose authority made him the Tsar of Russia. His beloved cousin Nicky had failed, now he shall succeed where he failed through superior Prussian might and steel, as well as finish what Peter the Great had started. Long live Vilgem, the v Vilgelm, the first Tsar of all of Russia. There he is. We've done it. We've put Wilhelm on the throne somewhere else. And we're not going to give the power to the Junkers. They can bugger off. We're going to have an all-Russian diet. Which does lead to the Kaiser question. Uh, which asks for Wilhelm's advocation in favour of Romanov Tsar. But hopefully we'll be able to say, no. Nah. If not, it's not the end of the world. We've, we've crowned him. We've done what I wanted to do. If he decides to give it to the Romanovs, they're distant cousins anyway. So it's fine. Well, the Ottomans are looking hella thick. Hella thick indeed, and Bulgaria is actually... They were winning. They were actually doing very well. And they've they've bottled it once again. In fact, I think they control more of Serbia than they actually do of Bulgaria now. So that's, that's hilarious. Oh my days, it's actually a, a game where Japan and the Feng Shian government are actually working together to defeat the Chinese United Front, who are just a mess. Well, these are two faces I've never seen before. Fernand de Haus and Henry Kak. Never seen them in charge of Flanders and Malonia at all. Four more days and then economic collapse is no more and we finally get cores on all the Russian land. Happy days. Can't wait for the manpower and total factories to fly up. Oh, Bulgaria just got straight up annexed by Serbia. Eh, why Germany? What have I just witnessed? What have you done? Oh, my brain hurts. My brain, my brain actually, it's a three-way. It's actually a three-way in Europe. Oh, I didn't realise I'd put Vidkun Giesling in charge in Norway. Time to die, Turkestan. Well, there's a sizable portion of their army. Cut off. With nowhere to go except from hell. That's maybe a bit harsh, Jesus. Oh, slowly but surely, we're, we're winning in Turkestan. It's just a slow and painful journey. That That's for sure. It's it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, let's have a little read of this, shall we? Russia has been unified under the sheer might and awe-inspiring power of the Kaiserich's military. With the largest nation on the planet subjugated by the greatest military power in Earth, we'll just ignore what's happening in Europe. Um, we could have easily bent the nation to our desires and oppressed the local Russian people without obstruction or reproach. Instead, we graciously decided to bring civilization to the savage frozen wasteland. As our war machine tore through the nation at its wake, we planted the seeds of Prussian constitutionalism, noblest form of government in existence as exemplified by the glorious Kaiserreich. We have brought f uh, federal parliamentarianism and measured enlightenment, enlightened monarchism to this wild expanse, laying the foundations of true and modern civilization. At the top of it all is Tsar Vilgem, Vilgelm, the greatest monarch in Russian history. However, with Russian people now truly in charge of the nation, of course, mediated by the crown, perhaps it's finally time for a change. For Tsar Vilgelm certainly has more present matters of Berlin to deal with than to continuously need to travel or check in or Moscow for appearances and ceremony. To abate the ease issues and to reward our new loyal subjects, we could attempt to persuade the notoriously difficult Kaiser German to leave the throne, preparing it for Prince Roman Petrovich, a native Russian and Romanov distant enough from the main line to easily be controlled. And with this more could anger the military, mostly filled with loyalists and fanatics. To the point we can see the military overthrowing the newly established Reichstag to keep Vilgelm on the throne, bringing Russia back to square one since its invasion. Regardless of this possibility, we cannot in good faith say that our populace laments the idea of being free from a foreign German nobility. Oh my god, this is such a mouthful. Uh, to combat these rivaling camps and attempt to uh, at a, in an attempt to compromise, there's a third option. Prince Louis Ferdinand von Prussen, both a Hon Hohenzollern and Romanov, through marriage, could provide a middle ground candidate, can appease all and keep the peace. However, if we choose this young Prussian, Prussian prince, then an agreement would have to be made as to which name he would be crowned under, either as Louis I, appeasing Berlin more, 
whereas Ivan and VII appease in the Russian majority. These things must be considered carefully and be totally calculated for the consequences of such a decision could Erie could easily leave us in a tight spot, causing uh, revocable damages of worse. We could keep Vilgel. I, I I don't want him. And uh, these these guys are the exact same. I'm not become the Russian Empire. Oh, this is when I wish I was in a playthrough. I'd be like, oh guys, who should we keep? I, I am tempted. I am very tempted to put Louis on the throne. But no, we will sh keep. We shall keep our glorious leader, Vilgelm the First. It is a series called The Adventures of Kaiser Wilhelm for a reason. He needs to stay. Oh, finally. Turkestan is no more. Welcome back. Actually, I am tempted to just deal with one last menace whilst the German Empire collapses. Um, people sard him. It is time for the Smolensk Conference. So we're sitting down to try and agree what happens to the land. I think asking for all of us is a bit too much. We'll ask for White Ruthina and Ukraine back. We'll see if they accept that. I've also noticed that uh, Geyser Wilhelm III is on the throne in Germany. So how is Vilgelm I still here? <laughs> I'm sure that must have been Wilhelm II died, unless he just abdicated the throne in Germany and just came to Russia permanently. You utter <laughs> Can I Can I betray them? Can I stab them in the back? Absolutely shocking Germany. Oh well, we're going to just go ahead and do our own thing then. Brilliant. So thanks to the German Empire and the Danube Federation fighting each other, they've ended up dooming one another. Death has come for you. Transamur. Oh, this war has been so much fun. I kind of am regretting my decision not actually helping the German Empire. I think I've maybe screwed myself big time. Italy's now united. Mussolini's decided to change hat. Uh, how strong are they all in total? Mm, it's not great. The socialist bloody Danube Federations here. Oh, nice. Is the war over? Ah, oh, Finally, Transamur is no more. I guess we'll just uh, get ourselves over here and in position. Yes, we are integrating the Far East. Fantastic. Maybe the Third International isn't actually as strong as I thought they were. Like, Germany's holding on by the skin of their teeth. I might have to join in. It's time for us to join in against that is a hell of a list of enemies. But let's do it. I was actually planning on letting you die, Germany. But I will save the day. Why is the Anton having such a good game as well? Like, what the hell? We must liberate Berlin, men. Yes, take back the glorious capital, men. You're welcome, Germany. Well, they're uh, they're definitely collapsing. Uh, I'm hoping we can just uh, slam our way through to Fume. There are actually not got many ports left, and I'm hoping the Rocky Mountains ceasefire. Who cares? Actually, Pacific States, that's probably in your best. Oh, no, actually kill them, the Radical Socialists, kill them all. Um, what was I saying there? Yeah, I'm hoping to try and get in behind them, because they've only got one port up here in the north, so if we can swing around and link up somehow with the main front, then we might be able to kill off a very large portion of the Third National's troops. Oh, hell yeah, that's a nice wee encirclement there. Paris is completely surrounded. The French Commune's basically screwed. I think the International have bottled this. Oh, the Commune of France is dead. We just need to secure this bloody port up in the north here. Oh, brilliant. Serbia's decided to join in on the fun. <laughs> oh, my days. Seriously? Oh, yes. I'm loving seeing these pockets of international troops. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is such a bloodbath in here. The supply's terrible, boys. Oh, my days. I really hate it how I've actually done most contribution to the war, even though I've barely killed any of them, apparently. Which is, oh, I've killed 300k of the Union of Britain now. I don't think this would have been a victory if I hadn't joined in. Yes, the French were doing stuff and so was the Anton, but I don't think the Germans would have survived much longer. So I'm taking some credit. I helped turn the tide. Oh, isn't that such a beautiful encirclement? What is Bull is? Where the hell did Union Britain get all those troops from? Did they just magically pull them out the rear end? Ah, perfect, they're all dead. It just leaves the Union of Britain. I don't know how, but New England sits top with the most <laughs> most uh, kills in Italy. I, I don't believe it at all. Uh, the peace just gets signed with the Union of Britain or something. 
So as you can see from the peace deal, things are looking a little bit different. Romania is obviously thicker, so is Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina is here, Croatia, Slovenia, Hungary, Kingdom of Czechoslovakia and Poland, they're all with Germany. I annexed all their eastern territories, I think as a fair reward for saving their ass during that war. Um, so we are currently integrating them as we speak. Uh, we're also getting ready to take down the last enemy, which... I don't know how they got that many divisions so quickly because we're nearly at the bare bones crew. Why does why does Finland have a war goal in Norway? Don't you dare think about it, Norway. I mean, uh, Finland. Norway is my rightful clay, and I guess you will be soon as well. Then seriously, they done it. I don't believe it. As soon as you're there, men just start pushing into them. We will liberate Scotland. My home. Homeland shall be free. Onwards, men. Cause as much of a ruckus as you can over there. Why the hell is Hull stacked? Well, Hull, Hull's cut off now. I can't... Oh, taking Nottingham. We'll, we'll just push our way to London. Oh, there we go. The U.S. Britain has been cut off in multiple places. <laughs> oh, it looks like the majority of them are just chilling in here. Kill them. Kill them dead. Ah yes, London has fallen. Perfect. And so someone else has just knit up the German Empire naval invaded not a port. Fantastic. Ah, and Finland's Well, they're getting killed like they should. That's what you get for declare war in Norway. Oh, Finland's dead. Thank you. Oh, it's quite sad for the Where the hell are all these Union of Britain divisions? 69 to 75. I don't see them. Where where are they? Ah, oh, there goes the rest. Of the Third International. Gone. The Civil War's over. The American Union State. Huey Long Dong has done it. Now join the Reich's Pact. What can you do? You can't do that. That's fine. An aggression pact with the coming of France. Why would you want to do that? Is there one that you invade Canada? America's People's Alliance. Doesn't look like you can join the Entente. Oh dear, that's all that remains of the Chinese United Front? The rest is just... the Feng Shian government. Holy hell. Hi Spain. Hi Entente. How are yous doing? Germany. Nice of you to join us. And... nobody is home. Wait, Portugal never joined the Entente? What the hell? Why? Why not? Well, I'm gonna kill them. I, I want their their resources, so... Strange, but they're gonna die anyways. Oh, Liberia, you cheeky little bugger. You've timed that perfectly. Perfectly. On you go. Don't think I've ever seen... Who's he? Anthony Dashward Wilson. Never seen you in power. On your cell, son. Oh, the French state is dead. Well done to my allies in Africa. Oh hey, it's smiley face guy. Again. Scott Arthur. I, I don't think you're supposed to be leading them, Scott. Oh, it's just too easy. The Entente is sucky. Joe, I really didn't need to go this far to escalate into war. But, you know, France didn't join. The peace... The deal in Halifax. Oh, sh Why would you join the Entente? It's such a trashy faction. Now I can't be bothered. I can't even be bothered trying to take America now. I don't get how they joined the Entente. Ah, oh, you can do one. I couldn't be bothered really killing off Canada anyways this game, so I'm actually probably just going to leave that there. Um, yeah, that was good. That was good fun. We finished the Focus Tree ages ago. Uh, Vilgelm should not still be alive at all. Um, he should be dead. <laughs> Guys, Will have the Third's been here for a good few years now. It's 1944 as well. Uh, the world is looking absolutely hideous. Um, but yeah, that was good fun, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back tomorrow for either Texas, AOG, or the Ottoman Empire. Got three more episodes to go. Hopefully, it'll just be as good as these three. Until next time, guys, do take care. Cheer bye. Bye now.